Person or personal? We're going to say working. All right, man. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Spread the Positive podcast, man. This one I've been waiting on. This is something I'm super excited about. Uh, got my guy Jake Matthews in the building. How are you, sir? Man, I'm fantastic, bro. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm, I don't know. We've been like planning this, it feels like for years now. So. I would say about two. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm stoked, bro. This is gonna be great. Nice, man. So just got back from Mexico. Yeah. Had a couple of days here in uh Nashville. Been about to fly back out to Panama. Just nothing to it but to do it, right? Exactly, just, man. Gotta stay on the go, you know. Man, this so. For the people that don't know, Jake is a internationally critically acclaimed superstar of a photographer and content creator and just like a really stand up dude. And uh, every I mean, everything he's about uh, really embodies all things STP, man. So it's been, like we said, a long time coming, man, but uh, super honored to have you on, man. Dude, I am honored. <laughs> this is great, man. Seriously. So, thank you. I'm humbled. All right, man. Well, I appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. Um. You know, uh, I've gotten the Cliff Note version. Um, you were on the Creating Ambition pod with Tyler back in the day. So I kind of got the Cliff Notes, but uh, how we like to do it here, uh, take us all the way back, man. Young Jake, early passions, yeah. what you were into as a kid, kind of how it was coming up. Take us back. Oh, man. Well, I still feel like I'm a kid. But mm -hmm. uh, as a kid, man, I feel like I was honestly so similar to the way I am today, which is like I grew up like the way my grandma puts it is I... I came into life ready to go. Like <laughs> I like Yeah. I came I came a month early and she was just like, You hit the ground running. You were just ready to live the life. And I was like, Yeah, that's kind of what I've always been like. Uh so, yeah, I've always been like this ADD, high energy kid. Um, always loved just like adventuring around, exploring as a kid. I was um growing up, I was super passionate about basketball yes um fellow I, hooper man exactly yes. man salute to the b-ball absolutely man. shapes you dude that that's my <laughs> first love and i think that's taught me so much about my life but so i do true. have this problem every time i'm on a podcast i talk about basketball way too much hey, so, i don't think that's possible with uh, this one man so yeah. feel free let that fly bro. So i'm gonna try and not ramble too much about hoops but that being said like i grew up i was a diehard basketball fan nice. that's what i was addicted to um it was like a part of every aspect of my life and grew up in Memphis, Tennessee. And I rep that with every <laughs> single aspect of my heart. I love Memphis. Um, I love that. Beautiful. That's my birthplace. Did you know that? I did not yeah, know. Man, that's my birthplace. No wonder we vibe, man. Know, oh, right? Yeah, Memphis is the shit. Can I cuss yes, on this? I'm feel sorry, free, bro. Watch. My bad. <laughs> no, you're right. Uh, but yeah, I grew up in Memphis and I uh, loved every minute of it and then moved up to Nashville. Yep. Um, to go to school, went to Lipscomb, and uh, I was actually a major in theology um, okay. back in the day. That's right. I don't, yeah, I can't remember if we talked about that last time, but yeah, I grew up. I thought I was going to be a pastor. Um, so cool. Was very passionate about that. Um, life took a few turns, and I ended up as a photographer. Wow. Um, yeah. You still kind of do some. You, I mean, you've done that, right? Or you've done a lot of kind of a little. I mean, I wouldn't say preaching the gospel but you you shine light where you go i, I mean try. yeah and you bring yeah I so try. i think there's an aspect of that theology in there yeah i mean so i mean real talk let's just jump in and get vulnerable as i have had like back and forth um debates when it comes to exactly what i believe oh, yeah. ever since i can move to nashville and became or not became Feeling a that. pastor but majored in theology and i bounce around and like you know i've had lots of different thoughts um and now the way I put it is I think I'm a man of great doubts, but hopefully a man of greater faith. Oh, um, man, so that's bars. it's like I got hella doubts and there's yeah. a lot of things that don't make sense to me. And there's a lot of a lot of days where I don't know exactly where I land, but I do know. And this kind of comes back to what I was saying about me as a kid. But like, I do know that I have this one life yeah, and I get one chance to live it. And no matter what I believe, I am going to do everything I can to like live a life of love and man. make an impact and like spread the positive Let's spread go. the love oh, man i wish i'm so, on board i hit the applause button man. Yeah. that's what i'm talking about yeah, yeah. So, so that's what i'm about man is like every day like using life as a journey for me to figure out you know what i believe in and what i believe to be the most important thing and i'm constantly on this journey that's yeah. part of the reason why i love to travel so much is it yeah. shapes my beliefs and what i what i find to be true in the world um but no matter what i do want to leave an impact of love and to uh, remind myself to do that in everything I do. That's real, man. Salute to you for doing that, for having that perspective. Like I said, that's one of the most STP answers I've ever heard in my life. So salute to you, man. Um, that's awesome. And uh, 
everything you got going now, man, that's usually where we take it. We go a little backstory, current life. So give us uh give us current life, Jake. What what all you got going, man? Yeah. I know it's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. <laughs> that's I a mean, loaded question. It's but... a little too much. Um, but we're learning to simplify um every day. That's what <laughs> we're trying go. to get to. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I moved to Nashville, was a major in theology, thought I was gonna be a pastor, life took a couple turns, and now I am a travel photographer. So sick. I've been very fortunate that I uh fell into it. Um I actually graduated from Lipscomb, didn't know what I wanted to do. I applied to be a middle school teacher and a high school basketball coach. Nice. Thankfully, I didn't get those jobs. Yeah. At the time, I didn't know photography could actually be a career or anything like that. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take some photos while I figure out what I want to do. Yeah. And that was 2016. And now it's, I guess, six years later. Yeah. And I'm still doing it. So, so sick. it's turned into this whole thing. And so now I'm like a travel photographer. I spend, it's all over the place, but we're going to say 60 to 70% of my time abroad and on the road. Wow um can't be a travel photographer not travel is kind of what i, mean, I say yeah that's so in the title. um <laughs> yes so i am a travel photographer that's like my main thing um i also am a businessman i guess in theory an entrepreneur yeah. i've become um very passionate about that and like what i can do for business and like how how that can also impact the world um so i've been running my own creative agency and wedding photography company nice, for man. the past couple of years as well um, but yeah, travel photography, that's my bread and but bread and butter. I spend mm -hmm. most of my year traveling around, shooting for hotels, tours and boards, NGOs, brands, different What's stuff like that. Nonprofit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Non yeah, sure. Non <laughs> it's a nonprofit. <laughs> it's a nonprofit. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah exactly. You. So yeah, that's, that's cool, pretty man. that's pretty much what I do. And then um as like career wise, but for me also with traveling, it's like with my photography, that is an opportunity for me to take photos that can get people outside of their bubble. Love That's that. like my number one passion and the reason I like to do it, the reason I like photography, the reason I like travel, it's to get people out of their bubble because it got me out of my bubble. That's awesome. And that photography and travel has been the main thing above anything else that has like educated me in my life, introduced me to new cultures, introduced me to new people. And that has shaped so much about who I am as a human and how I interact with people, how I love people. Um, so, uh, yeah, I love to travel for that reason. Like a good example is like, I come from a family who is like an incredible family, loving yeah. family, but most of them aren't super well-traveled is, I mean, not, yeah, especially <laughs> compared to what I do, yeah, right. like, but I'm gone all the time. Yeah. But when I first started traveling, I just noticed certain comments from fr friends and family that were things like, oh, are you sure you're going to be safe going to China or to Kenya or to wherever it is? And then I, at first, I kind of had these thoughts like, oh, well, should I be concerned about my safety or whatever? And then I showed up and I was like, oh, this is like the. They're like, so nice. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, for instance, like China's like maybe the safest place I've ever been. For and, real? Yes. Wow. And, like I tell people, like I would be comfortable with a girl who had a girl who had never traveled before flying to China and walking around at 3 a.m. by herself. Like, wow. It's that safe. Man. It's just people and people are so nice. They come up to you. They're, they're helpful. And that's just like one example. And I've been to like 50 plus countries and had almost similar situations in every single one of them man that's so cool um but yeah can we say that it might be your energy <laughs> you it, know? Th there's something to that yeah, yeah sure yeah. It, is, it is me showing up but uh it's about me showing up with an open heart and open arms yeah. like letting myself have these types yeah. of experiences and realizing that they are out there that's um tight. that's but, so cool yeah so for me i feel like my photography is a way to show friends and family hey this is what the world is like and you too can go out there travel the world meet new people experience new cultures and i believe that that shapes everybody to be Dang. a better person so wow that's like my heart behind it is yeah. like every time i take a photo i'm like is this going to convince like one of my friends from back home in memphis tennessee who's never <laughs> left the state to like decide to hop on a plane and go somewhere that's real, and change man. their perspective so it's like i feel that responsibility on my shoulders when i shoot um and when i travel that's real man that's yeah, a big why exactly. that's like a really big driving factor yes and like to be like completely honest like i'm trying to hold myself to that i feel like i have strayed away from that at times and like not gone after that goal the way yeah. i wanted to Oops. and um focus on things such as focus on business too much or whatever it may be but that is my why like man. that's the heart behind it and that's what i'm trying to stick to and hold myself to as a man so Bro. yeah salute to you that's sick um 
man, let's get into a couple of the STP questions. So, um, you know, the mission is to bring light to what's going right. And, uh, that's definitely, I mean, again, everything you're about, you know, something you embody on the daily. Um, what are some of your, you know, like tips of the t tips of the trade or, uh, you know, tools in the toolbox for, uh, when you're not as positive or you're not feeling as good, um, or you're having a down and out day, what are some of your go-to ways to switch that up? Oh man. Well, first off, um, anybody who follows me on Instagram knows that I'm about this cause I'm posting about it all the time, but for me, a big part of it is practicing gratitude. Um, and it's practicing gratitude as a point of discipline versus actually feeling it kind of like you were talking about, because going back to the photography thing, practicing gratitude, it is my way of like intentionally waking up every day and putting on the lens of finding beauty in the world. Man, let's go. And so it helps me so much with my photography. Yeah, I was about to say, that's um, a photography. Uh, yeah, it's literally a skill <laughs> set. Uh, what is that? Um, but one quote and that I think applies to gratitude that I read about photography when I first started was um, that the eye is like any other muscle in the body. Wow. That it can be with through practice and training, it can be like strengthened to become stronger. Wow. Or just strengthened, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. That was, <laughs> um, anyway, Same thing. Yeah. It can be strengthened. And <laughs> so I feel that way with um, my gratitude as well. It's like waking up every day and it is like it's a workout for me oh, it's like nice. a mental and a heart workout yes, like can man. i put my heart in a like a loving and open and positive like mindset Let's to like go. to see the world so practice gratitude is a huge way that i do that and a huge way that i like force myself to i guess be positive it's like i wake up and i find i try to find five new things every day that i'm thankful i for. love that yeah. yeah you always put those on your like on your stories and stuff and it's those small things that i always i'm like that's so that, i love that because it's like it's very specific and it's very intentional and it's it's always so dope like yeah. I, I love i love when I, when i see your story come across and you got those like top five and i'm like yes man i totally get that heck yeah I get and it from the small mom. yeah shouts to your mom man shout out she's the goat she is that's awesome man um what else dude what else um what man I'm blanking um what else we got so uh we talk about oh yeah so what's going right man what's going right in the world according to jake matthews you know that like i said the, the mission is to bring light to what's going right man you do that on the daily i would consider what you do a perfect example of that so like what is going right according to jake man i think a lot's going right man Thank i mean you. i don't get me wrong i think a lot's like we, we could be better funked up <laughs> funked up in this world <laughs> yeah. i guess um but i also think a lot's going right i think um to once again look on the bright side of things is nowadays with technology and with just communication we are more connected than ever yes and i think that has the opportunity to be an absolutely beautiful thing yes. just even talking about from my travel standpoint, it's like I've gone to 50 plus countries and that's just that's so, so much more accessible in today's world oh, yeah. than ever before. And I just think now things are going right in that like we have the ability through Instagram or whatever it is. Like I can find a random guy in China, Russia yeah. today, send, send him a DM yeah. and be like, yo, what's going on? I'm coming there and I want to meet up and take photos and they'll be like, great, let's Come do on it. down. Yeah. yeah it's like, <laughs> right. I have access to friendships all over the world. like to be able to. So sick. And I just, once again, going back, like, I think travel, like meeting people from other cultures and pe people who grew up differently. From yes, you. man. And yes. People who have a different mindset, believe things completely different. I think like the interaction of those people is what's going to change change the world yes and so i i think we have a lot going wrong in our world today as far as like people don't know like how to truly love each other or how to understand each other but i think we are living in a world where we have the option yes. and we have the opportunity and it's there so it's like can we really lean into that and connect with each other and learn to love each other and understand each other yes um man. so that's what's going right man i just I love think, that i think there's more opportunities to connect than ever before yes so. man we just have to choose if we want to be good about it or not. It's a choice. It exactly. always is, man. Perspective is everything. And being able to, uh, like you said, lean into what is actually working and these opportunities and uh, crossing over what might be, uh, what used to be like untouchable or you couldn't touch those subjects yeah. or different things that, I mean, now it's just okay. 
like we can talk about it. So I'm with you, man. Technology is a beautiful thing. Being able to do this is a beautiful thing too. So I, I love, I love hearing these stories too. Cause like, um, man, 50 countries, dude, that's wild. Yeah. I, th- I don't know what the exact number is. I think it's something like 56. Wow. Yeah. It's, man. it's been a journey dude, through so all, crazy. all. How old are you? 28. Wow, dude. Wow. Yeah, that's so sick. <laughs> that's insane. Hey, my goal is to go to all 197. So. Hey, I, I would not put it past you. Before I'm 40, that's the goal. And can I? I know we were trying to steer away from b ball stuff, but oh, one of your latest fine. projects, man, I got to bring yeah. it up. The b like shooting basketball courts around the world, man. I, another thing I just live for with your content and some of these, uh, the Mexico City stuff you you yes. just posted, dude. On freaking believable i mean that was some of the coolest stuff i've ever seen in my life so can you speak on how that came about and just that project in general yeah selfishly i want to know all about it. absolutely <laughs> well ironically it's a great segue because it's exactly what i talked about as far as like just the opportunity connect yeah and how that it's there and right so many people see like these incredible like people that i meet or connections that i make whatever and they're like how do you do that i'm like i just send a random yeah. dm on instagram so put myself out all that it was is how i got connected to this beautiful story that or beautiful project that i'll tell you guys about um is i was on instagram one day and like on the explore page and i saw a photo of a court in mexico city that mm-hmm. was like done in this beautiful art mural and i realized it was done by this like ngo yep. or non-profit yeah, yeah, yeah. company whatever and that specifically like revamps basketball courts and like beautiful murals and then they do like community activations around let's these courts. go man let's go so i saw that and i was like oh they're based out of mexico city and i had a flight to mexico city <laughs> and uh, like a week later so i was like oh great timing <laughs> so i just sent them a dm i was like yo i love what y'all do any way that i can be a part of it please yes. please let me know yeah. I, I will help in any way that i can That's i will so volunteer sorry. my time and so luckily the uh owner of it he reached out to me he's like hey man we saw your dm would absolutely love to show you around once you get here to mexico yes. so i just like landed in mexico city and then he just like pulled up to my airbnb i hopped in his red mini cooper <laughs> had never met him before yeah. he's, his name's my is, he's my buddy rick torres he's now a buddy for life that's um, so sick yeah but it was just like a random stranger like that and i decided to like hop in the car and go <laughs> so he showed me these beautiful courts around mexico city each one of them done like I said, in a beautiful mural. If you want to see them, you can check out my Instagram, Jake's Visuals. I have some photos of them on there. Yeah. But um, then he told me about this project they were doing, partnering with the NBA. Dude. So it was in another part of Mexico, and this year was the NBA's 75th anniversary. Right, right, right. So they decided for their 75th anniversary, they wanted to redo a court um, in small t- small town of Oaxaca, Mexico. So okay. Oaxaca is like a state. And they did it at this specific like little village in Oaxaca. Nice. And Oaxaca is beautiful because you think of Mexico, what sport do you think of first? Soccer. Soccer. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But Oaxaca is interesting because what they say about Oaxaca is you will find certain towns that may not even have running water, but you will find two things for sure. One of which church to a basketball court. (laughs) It's like that is these people (laughs) no matter what sleep basketball. Let's go, man. Drink and sleep basketball, whatever. yeah. Yeah. Um, so that being said, is these people have a major love for hoops and the NBA decided to go and revamp an entire court. Um, very, like I said, a beautiful mural branded as the NBA. And then they did an entire community launch around it. So there were kids that came from 50 surrounding villages all to have a camp one day. That's Um, what's going right, baby. Yeah, that's that's what's what's going going right. right. And so. Uh, I was just honored to be a part of that project. Like I said, I'm hoops lover, and I believe that basketball will teach you as much about life as you will let it. Could not um, agree more. So I just think that like it was a beautiful opportunity to be a part of that, to see like w- the way that the game is changing lives of the next generation, and also mixing it with art, which is something right. that I love as well. So Dude. yeah, it was an honor to be a part, and uh, I'm hoping to. That's kind of like a part of my long term vision as well. I think in uh, maybe 15, 20 years when I step out of the photography game more so i would love to do a similar thing yeah, like dude. revamp basketball courts hey, around hey, the world I, I, put me on your board bro Heck yeah let's do it bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm so down let's do it um, i'm so down yeah but i just want to i just want to mix um sweat and art and hoops let's go around the world and bring Stop. communities together that way so yeah man let me be involved all right 
Let's do it. Let's, I'm so down. This is the man. first board meeting. Yeah, everybody. We, we just we just planted the seeds. Everybody, exactly. y'all just saw that uh, for all the tens and tens of people watching right now. Um, man, dude, that's so exciting, and just I, I love that. I I, I was uh, vicariously living through you, and just like, man, this is so sick. And and the art and like the the attention, like all of it was just so beautiful man it was like unbelievable and like all your drone stuff and i was just like dude this is so sick but shout out to you man that 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 was uh really cool to watch from uh from afar man thank you man thank you uh what else man what what's on what's next man what's coming up besides panama um, <laughs> in a couple of days what's, yeah, what's happening there? who knows there's a few different trips um i have trips lined up for the whole rest of the year um that i'll be doing through Panama, through South America. Um, I'll be heading to one of the things I'm very excited about is here in October, I'm getting a chance to lead my first group trip. Nice. So I've never done that before, like officially. I've technically led groups of like friends of like seven of right. us maybe to go somewhere. But this is my first group trip group trip to Iran. Wow. Yeah. So it's like starting off Again. with a bang <laughs> right. yeah Again, that's Crazy. one of those where you're like that's a little yeah a little questionable on the exactly. safety <laughs> but yeah, exactly. yeah, so yeah that's yeah. the thing that one of the reasons i'm so passionate about it is because what does the average person think of when they think of iran they scary. probably yeah exactly. honestly i'll say they, scary they don't think of it as a place that they may want to visit but if you actually read up on iran and people that have gone there it's actually known for having the most hospitable people in the world. Wow. It's just their government can be a little iffy, but the people are <laughs> right. great and they're welcoming and they love, they love having guests come in. So I got reached out to by this tour company in Iran. They're like, Hey, we want to invite you to like lead a group. So Dude, for that's so cool. Two weeks in October, I will be leading a group trip to Iran. If any of you want to come, let's go. We have a few spots left. It's going to be crazy. And it's, so cheap for what it is really and yeah okay I mean, it's like 1400 bucks for two weeks that's a pretty good that's a deal steal, it sounds like yeah. yeah um but it's just like i am getting a chance now to not just through my photography but actually hands-on getting to lead a group of people so cool outside of their bubble whoa so it's like best I'm, of both worlds yeah, <laughs> best of all your I'm, worlds <laughs> i'm stoked so i'm hoping this is the first of many group trips um that's something i would love to step in and start doing a lot lately or a lot in the future Man. yeah i have that coming up and then the so other, what it, sorry i yeah, don't no, want to interrupt you ahead, what please. what exactly i mean what are you going to be doing like leading photography stuff leading all the above or it's, it's honestly way more of a cultural trip okay. than it is like a okay. photography trip. Okay. So yes, I will be there and it's a stunning country. Yeah. So I will be there and I will be taking photos, videos without a doubt. Right. But the point of it is more like, let's showcase what Iran has to offer. Okay. And let's show people what this country is really about. So, so cool. we'll be there for about 13 nights and we will be doing five nights hiking through the desert, let's camp go. camping under the stars, riding camels the whole shebang wow. we'll be visiting a few different um unesco world heritage sites um just extremely historical sites um and then iran also just has absolutely beautiful architecture within their cities they have like stuff such as uh yeah just all types of good architecture so we'll be stopping in different cities around iran um exploring different buildings different sites stuff like that and just seeing like absolute beauty so Dude, that's yeah. so cool and eating some really good food along the way so right. Iran is that's another one great here. street food <laughs> and if you know me that's like <laughs> that's how i, I like say. to experience the world <laughs> right. so i'm excited your food, about that your food posts are really on point too i'm always like man that looks fire but yeah no. anyway dude that's so cool so uh this is the first one and you're trying to so that's where you're trying to get like trying to carve out a little lane of what you've been doing doing like honestly that's like um i mean just telling the story of the whole country using a little bit of photography and all your yep. skill sets but again just bringing people together leading them through that yeah bro that's so perfect yeah it's an honor i'm so thankful and i like take it with a lot of responsibility like i am ready to like bring these people and lead them yeah. well and lead them on an incredible journey so where did you get where did you get the fire for that man oh man i mean, I mean just the leadership aspect yeah i think it was it was hoops yeah honestly. Right? a lot of it was hoops and a lot of it was me growing up um i grew up heavily involved in my church and right. did a lot of stuff as far as just like leading the youth yeah. team and stuff like that and just uh was it camp, just part of you camp counselor energy yeah, yeah, yeah. type of thing that's yep, what people yep. say that i have you um, definitely have that exactly <laughs> yeah. so it's just always been like a passion of mine like to, like i said like i am the person just like grab something 
by the range say like let's freaking do it so if ever i'm around a group and i think there's an incredible experience we can take part of i'm just usually the first like stand up and be like let's Let's go go. guys yeah so it's just been a part of me ever since i was born i just think that's like part of the genes wow yeah good for you that's super cool Man, that's going to be amazing. So that's in September, October. October. Okay, yeah. sweet. Man. So I have that. And then the other big thing that I'm really excited about this year is currently for the entire month of September, I am planning on doing the Camino de Santiago. So that is a pilgrimage, 500 miles, over 500 miles across Spain. What? Um, it's certainly like a, it's a famous like pilgrimage that saints have done um, throughout history. Wow. So people go and I think like they have hundreds, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of visitors now um per year but yeah it is a walk across spain you start at the border of france and you just simply walk across and there are other pilgrims you meet along the way and you stop and have wine in different small spanish towns and a lot of people do it with a specific purpose in mind it's like they're going to find themselves or to sober up or whatever it may be yeah um, but it's like this is a very intentional pilgrimage that people decide to go and do. Do you have that, or what's yours? Do I have a specific purpose along with it? I don't know if I have a specific one. I think it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a recentering for okay. me. Um, I'm a very ADD person and very, um, just naturally can get distracted by certain yeah. things. Yeah. And like me being like vulnerable, like the weak parts of me, like I have become focused at times, like on things that. I actually don't care about deep down and yeah. like may get too focused on business or too focused yeah. on money or too focused on what people think about me and things like that. And for me, this is like a recentering, a recalibrating. Wow. So yeah, it's like, sick. I want to go and walk across Spain and meditate along the way, do these different spiritual practices um, to once again, just remind me of like what I truly want my heart to be about Dang. and what I want to be about as a man. So wow. It's like I'm going there to think about that and think about how I'm living life and how I want to continue to do that in the best way to impact others and to Dude. be the best man that I can be. Let's freaking go. Man. Yeah. Dude, that's incredible. Good for you. And that's at the end of the year? That'll be in September. Oh, September. It's currently man. playing, yeah. Okay. So, Dude. Yeah. How long will that take? Oh, it'll take the full month. Yeah. yeah oh, if okay. not, 30. a little bit longer. Okay. So at least 30 days. How many um, miles is that? A little over 500 okay um probably just walking yes straight just across. Walking. i'll be walking about at least 15 miles a day i think damn that's so sick, dude. yeah it's, it'll be Sounds a like the at too. man yeah yeah <laughs> it's um, like a, that's sick dude yeah man, you do cool excited. stuff bro Thank that's you, so bro. awesome um this is a podcast by the way <laughs> shameless plug please let's let's make it official but let's do it man oh please document some of that pod yeah bro. absolutely um, man. that's so sick um well let's wrap it up man we always uh and it's super fitting for everything you're about we we, we have something we call the grateful for four cool. things you're most grateful for I know you've probably already done it today, so you might be cheating, but that's okay. <laughs> I actually haven't. I, I, this is my morning coffee okay, right. right here. We so. have been get. We got exactly. an early start today, so hit us with your uh, grateful for, man. Man, okay, today I am thankful for the beautiful green of Tennessee summers. Yes. Um, I am thankful for the smell of honeysuckles. Yes. I am thankful for the way that your morning coffee hits just right. <laughs> And I'm just incredibly thankful for uh for my Prius and yeah. my ability. Just, <laughs> I haven't, I haven't driven everywhere. for the past two and a half months. I've been traveling and like, it's just good to be back behind the, the wheel of a car and like <laughs> with great gas mileage, driving around, listening to music with the windows down. So it's just like, I'm just thankful for that, man. That man, happen. that's a solid grateful for it. Absolutely. Cool, man. Well, uh, man, um, I know you kind of plugged it already, but uh, be sure to tell, just tell everybody where they can find you and uh, anything to be on the lookout for or anything like that, man. Absolutely. So yeah, please, um, if you want to follow along on any adventures or anything anything gratitude wise, you know, uh, follow along. It'll be uh, Jake's visuals on Instagram. That's plural Jake or technically it's possessive, but we'll say plural, (laughs) plural Jake and plural visuals, Jake's visuals on Instagram. And then also, if you're if you want to see the kind of different photography that me and my team are doing around Nashville, and if anybody needs photography, please also follow J Creative House. Yes, um, yes on Instagram, yes. that's my own studio. I have a group of creatives, and we all 
absolutely love what we do. We take it as an honor. So we are trying to help anybody around Nashville tell their story. So if you need to help, if you need your story told, reach out to us and we're happy to help in any way that we can. Yes. Again, some pretty awesome overlap of everything we got going to man we gotta we gotta we gotta link on an official level at some point man yeah. so appreciate what you do man appreciate what you stand for how you uh how you operate and the joy you bring to the world bro like you're you're definitely a light and uh super super glad we got to do this man it's yeah. always uh anytime we cross paths i'm always super grateful for it man so Same. appreciate what you do man uh safe travels as always go do some big things change the world man one one picture at a time one group trip at a time man you're doing some amazing work and it's always so cool to to watch and to just be like yo i, I know that guy <laughs> so shall see you bro thanks for everything man thank you bro thank you for having me on much love much gratitude this yeah. has been awesome all right man.